he's it's weird to say he's a daddy's boy he's isn't that interesting she wrote a book uh what she says is her truth and she has a chapter in there about her father and her and his quote-unquote infidelity quote-unquote and Dwayne Wade is more protective of her father than she is I did a video with Layla Ali in the aftermath of Muhammad Ali's death and in that video it shows you how Layla Ali also was more interested in competing with her father than actually showing any fatherly respect towards him she spent the whole interview basically trying to pump herself up and to talk about how much she confronted her dad and she did it with pride okay once again, brothers, the issue with the liberal female uh, in general and the liberal black woman in particular is a major problem that the so-called black man is going to have to confront and deal with. But it's not going to be until he acknowledges himself as the master. Period. OK. Now, this this woman, when you do any backstory on her and Dwayne Wade in their relationship, the, Dwayne Wade started out as a quote unquote friend. What that really means is that he was a nigga hanging out around her who wanted her but she didn't want him he was not her first choice by her own admission she was chasing after somebody else um you know one of you know one of these guys in the entertainment industry most likely some rapper and the rapper you know the person that she was chasing after did not take her seriously so she ended up settling for Dwayne Wade but because Dwayne Wade treated her so well and she realized that she was quickly expiring you know she decided to run with it once again, relationships are not about being in love. It's, you know, it's, it's about expedience. Uh, and I mentioned this before. Marriage was not set up based on a convention of being in love with somebody. It was based on the passage of ownership from a father for, of a woman, the, pa the passage of ownership of a woman from her father to a husband. Okay? That's what it was set up for. So when you inject all of these emotions into that convention, it leads to a lot of the issues that you have now. In the relationship system when you have divorce at a 60 65 percent rate i had one dude comment in one of my videos saying that marriage that divorce is at a 93 percent rate how true that is i don't know but he according to him they fudge the numbers because they don't count repeat divorcees so i don't know uh, all i know is that the chances of getting divorced after you get married in the western culture is is far higher than staying together why because you know, people are getting married. They're forming corporate unions in a deculturalized society. There's no framework to tell the woman that she should that she should be embarrassed to not maintain the relationship with the man. And of course, the man has his duties as well, which are even more important. But the vast majority of unions are ended by the woman because of her whimsical nature. He's a he's a he's a. Yeah, like he's a daddy's boy. He's like my dad's favorite person on the planet. And and I'm sure that bothers you. And let me say this also. Gabrielle Union, according to her, was raped when she was a teenager. So I'm sure that that has had an effect on her and on, on her relationships, I'm sure. Uh, how could it not? At the same time, and, and, this, and let me say this too, man. When brothers start, start dealing with, with these women, and I know this for a fact, you got to do investigations on their past on their relationship history and things like sexual assault because it is going to affect how they deal with you how they view you how they react and respond to certain things and um that's why i always say man when, when cats get deep into these relationships with these people you have to do your investigative work so that you don't get caught up in little silly shit because these traumatic issues and these traumatic events they hide in the subconscious of the person that you're with, whether they're a man, a woman, a child, whether they're your significant other, whether they're your friend. And you have to be aware of these things because certain things can trigger the, the eruption or the emergence of that traumatic event that affected their, their life. Um, he's very protective of him, so he's a little nervous about that. We like to he should be protective of him, and so should you. Um, why are you putting your father's business on Front Street unless you're trying to embarrass him? Unless you feel like your father did something to you when you were younger that maybe you're not willing to talk about. I'd like to call uh, you and Dwayne Wade relationship goals. Um, you know, you guys. That's more that social media silly shit, relationship goals. How could you look at people through television and decide that you want your relationship to be like theirs when you're not in the middle of their relationship? 
You don't know what the dynamic of their relationship is. They could be two steps away from separating again. You don't know that. Gabrielle Union, as I've already stated, is smart enough to understand where she is in her life. She's approaching 45. If, that's if she's not 45 already. Uh, she looks nice for her age. But at the same time, um, the woman understands that as she gets older, her, her options get smaller. All right? Particularly if she doesn't have any domestic skills or, or abilities. Her options get smaller. They don't get larger. And she's not going to do better than Dwayne Wade. For those of you who don't know, she's, she's a groupie for athletes. She was married to an athlete uh, with the Oakland Raiders prior to, you know, this is back in like the 90s. That lasted for like a hot second. And she also was with Jason Kidd all the way back in high school. So, and, and she was with Derek Jeter for a while. She was one of Derek Jeter's conquests. <laughs> so, Dwayne Wade was somebody that she was lucky to find who took her seriously because many of these guys are not taking women seriously anymore, even the famous ones. Uh, so, she's extremely lucky to have found a guy like him who would take her seriously. As our Amazing together. Uh, he seems to be your favorite person. But Jamel and I have talked on camera. You and Jamel have talked about uh, yeah. talked about this on camera. Is LeBron his favorite person? <laughs> I think it now goes LeBron, uh, the dog, Trey, um, <laughs> and then me. <laughs> so in other words, it's going according to loyalty. Because he know LeBron ain't going nowhere. And he know the dog ain't going nowhere. So if you third... And I, I believe her when she gives that, that, that lineup, that hierarchy of, of uh, who Dwayne Wade trusts. LeBron first, the dog, and then you. Because he know out of those three, you're the, you the one most likely to not be around tomorrow. I think I come right after Trey. Um, maybe after our chef fridge. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> That's a pause alert right there. Since I do not feed him. Is um, comfortable with this? I'm in the top five. But, you know. Look, I, I mentioned before, it wouldn't surprise me if these three dudes engage in, in, in some wife swapping wouldn't, wouldn't shock me at all all right <laughs> um, I, yeah i guess that's the best you could, you could possibly I, ask if, for. They're, if they're peanut butter and jelly then what are you and Dwayne? i'm like tuna fish and he's like mayonnaise i'm not sure <laughs> I, it's it's clearly not pb and j i would be hurt by that i mean, <laughs> I mean were you bothered at all are you just so... i mean the fact that i had to negotiate in our prenup a handshake uh for our marital vows uh when him and lebron have like 86 handshakes <laughs> and i don't even know where to begin to get offended at their uh at their closeness Nettie and Seely are um their love is real and they nothing will keep them you know he had a lot of options you know uh, after the buyout but none quite as None quite as appetizing as that peanut butter. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll stop. So I've hogged enough. Go ahead, Jim. No, I mean, I well, it's obvious that they have a very close brotherly bond, and that's good for them because they need that for that for that stability, and that's something that's good. It's always good to show uh, the, the female, particularly somebody like a Gabrielle Union, that there's somebody else that that there is, that that a man has a close bond with, so that she knows, okay. Um, I have to make sure that I stay on my P's and Q's because the man is not depending on me for, for, you know, for mental succor. That's very important. That's why I always say you got to put the most high first. And if the most high bless you with a friend on the level of a D Wade and LeBron, that's great. But the woman always has to understand that, yes, she's the partner to the man. But in a corporate society like this, where they form a corporate union, Dwayne Wade seems smart enough to know that she could be gone. And she even mentioned this D uh, prenuptial agreement and I bet you that she's probably the one who introduced the prenuptial agreement to him to show him that she did not want to be with him for his money and she doesn't need him for the money she needs him for the prestige for the for the notoriety she needs him to make sure that he can help her stay on TV you know when he goes to the ESPYs or any other type of award show she trots along with him All right, that power couple dynamic is essential for somebody like her who's trying to maintain uh, any form of, of of presence in Hollywood, especially at her age. At 45 years old, what, really, what role is she playing? She's not going to be cast as the female lead in, in a major Hollywood movie. I mean, unless Tyler Perry or, or some black director is going to cast her, who's going to cast her in a major Hollywood film in a major role? Now, with the shakeup that has been provided by Harvey Weinstein, there are going to be more avenues for women, but is there going to be additional avenues for black women, so-called black women like her? No. And not at her age. 
uh, unless there's a certain unless there's a certain role that's written for her because she can't even get on the casting couch anymore like she did back in the 90s. I mean, I, I, I want to get back to your, your relationship with D-Wade, and I guess that's LeBron. Um, D-Wade recently said that, you know, he made the decision to, to come off the bench. And obviously, I, you know, you guys talk about everything. What were your conversations 